This is a 2013 Mercedes C300 Cormatic, 115 in miles. PA inspected till January 2025. And a really nice car, really nice driver. It just has some wear on the inside. I'm gonna go over all that. Like I said, we always hide nothing. Um, you'll see the seat. It's real common with these leatherette seats in these cars. They can be repaired at a reasonable price. But when I get along the driver's side, I'll show you some of the buttons that are worn. I debated whether to go crazy trying to make it perfect or offer it at a good price. It's really quite a dilemma in, in the used car world. How far do I recondition a car? Nice trunk space. If I go overboard, it becomes almost unaffordable where there'll be no profit and I'll have to ask top dollar for it. And it just makes it unaffordable for people. If I offer the car at a really good price based upon the condition, then sometimes people get a little upset. Like there's a little mark there. The buttons, it's, it's the plastic on the buttons. They get, they, they just wear. And um, this one has it. And you can replace this window switch for about 25 bucks. It pops right out. This is a little more complicated. And I think they make these buttons, and, or sometimes companies even make stickers to put over them. Again, how far do I go? I'll probably look into it. The climate control buttons too, same kind of thing. But the car runs like a top. New PA inspection, checked out really well. Navigation, you got backup camera. I mean, it's got some nice features, power windows, locks, mirrors, obviously, CD player, heated seats. Power seats, memory seats, sunroof on the top. I mean, sitting on really nice wheels. Again, center caps. Do I replace those center caps? Sure, it makes the car look a lot nicer. Not too crazy, but everything just adds up, adds up, adds up. And someone that's a little handier that might want to do things on their own. Motor sounds great. They could buy those items for maybe about 100, 150 bucks and do the work themselves, where I have to then pay someone to do it and whatnot. It's just one of those dilemmas. But anyway, talked a little too much about the car business. This is just a nice car. Come out, check it out. A great little first car for someone. I mean, they're safe, reliable, and have a little bit of pizzazz. Um, I appreciate you watching. Hit like, hit subscribe. I'm gonna do a couple more in a row. We got the Lexus right behind it and a nice little Acura RDX, and we got some new ones being posted. I hope to see you on all the, all the future videos. Thank you.